what's going on guys? Joe here coming at you today from a new game called Mini Guns. In my off time, guys, I throw down on this game right here. I just started playing it yesterday, as a matter of fact, and it is a ton of fun. I mean, an absolute blast to play. Um, it's really a real-time player versus player, kind of like uh, Clash Royale, but military style. And this works out really well for me because I am active duty military, and I love the tactics in the sense of using ground troops, artillery, having air, having um, um, the tanks involved, and there's just all kinds of different minis in the game. Uh, as you have currently some live action on the screen, artillery coming in, heavy artillery. This guy's walking around with a minigun, popping off artillery troops, and he's going to work his way all the way down to um, the base itself. So on both sides, there's a base. You have two different armies at your disposal, uh, one called the Republic, one called the Dominion. Uh, red is Dominion, blue is Republic. And these guys basically battle it out. It's a game of strategy and who has the most action points Collection, collecting action points in the lower left hand screen activates and allows you to put minis on the base. So before we get into the high powered action like so, we're going to play a little bit as well while we make this video. Uh, let's go ahead and get back into the main screen and get you started guys. Alright, so back at the main screen guys, this is what the main screen looks like. When you first start the game, it's going to start you through a boot camp and basically explain basic combat and how to actually progress in the game. Up top you have different uh, levels. This is my player profile and it shows everything that I've done so far. How many wins I've had, uh, 1v1. It also has 2v2 player win, uh, wins and battles. I haven't done any of that because I haven't. I don't have a lot of people in my alliance yet. You can also create an alliance and it'll basically show you the amount of people that are in your alliance and the people that are actually online. That's actually really cool uh, opposed to other games that I have played. You also have a chat. You also have the ability to ask and request for minis, which we'll get into in a second. And then you can also request versus battles and 2v2 matches. And then also another thing that's really, really cool about this game is you can change the emblems of your alliance and other things, but you can contribute as a team chipping in gold to purchase these packs. So the bigger your alliance is, the more gold you obtain from wins and the more of this stuff you can actually unlock. So I think that's actually really, really cool. Uh, strong box up top is uh, basically uh, unlocking more minis over a, a certain period of time it will unlock and you also gain points and experience to unlock the strong box by winning matches you also have missions and you can run through and do missions uh, under both of your different armies so you start out with the boot camp and then there's also other missions that you can complete in order to obtain gold uh, also talking about the armies themselves the armies, you have two armies, like I said before, you have the Republic, and then you also have the Dominion. You have to make sure that you go in and set up both of your armies. You're going to start out with some basic minis right off the bat, and then as you unlock crates, they will unlock more minis. You'll have, there's uh, uh, Epic, there's Rare, there's Common, and there's all kinds of minis. You have Air, you have Tanks, you have Air Defense, you have um, basic troops like uh, the Rocket Launcher here, the Stinger, and the list goes on and on and on all customizable you can customize each of your armies to meet your needs or based off of the type of matches you're facing and same thing with the dominion you have a different uh, armies on both sides uh, and then also you have in the center the map that you'll be facing on and the battle button in order to get into a match so what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna go ahead and get into a live match and uh, show you some matching and uh, some battles and then we'll go from there guys all right, so now that we've taken a look at the main menu, let's go ahead and get into an actual match and talk about how to win a match. So we're going to go ahead and watch this replay. And starting out the match, two resupplies will drop on the map of action points. Now, the idea is to get in on the action points. There's two of those and try to collect them before the other player destroys your troops. In this event here, we had an infantryman up top take care of uh, getting the northernmost um, resupply. And then on the bottom, there's one still available. But on both sides here, we have uh, both players setting up artillery to get coverage on these uh, action box or the resupplies that have action points in them. Action points are generated down in the left-hand bottom of your screen there. And by dropping your minis, you will spend action points. So you don't want to spend them as quickly as possible because then you're giving your other, your opponent the advantage. Now, there's two different methods of looking at the map here. You can change to a tactical overhead view. You can also change to a default view. And then you can also look at a cinematic view of the base. So this is really cool stuff. You can look at your opponent in different manners by swiping your two fingers on the screen, uh, bringing them in or out on your screen. 
All right, so anyways, here in this event here, the idea you have in both armies, you have the Republic, the Blue Army, and you have the, the, the Dominion on in the Red Army on the right. In the center, you have two common bases or two main bases. In order to take down the base or to defeat your enemy, you have to take down that ma main base in the first three minutes of the match. On the two flanks, you have two turrets. Um, the two turrets, you can take those down, but it's not going to determine a winner. Uh, the winner, if you run out of time, goes into a um, battle royale, basically. Uh, in this match here, this is exactly what's happening. As we have a very close match between these two opponents, they have artillery set up to where nobody can really get in and grab either one of those supply drops and, and collect action points. So both of these players are basically running out uh, and they have defense set up on both sides with artillery, the machine guns, um, and they continue to add to their long range defense with the artillery, uh, not allowing for either player to get artillery in or get um, an infantryman in to collect those action points. So they're both running really low at this point. And as we come down to 42 seconds left in the match, um, they're continuously trying to get some damage off on both of the uh, on, of both player. Um, and at the same time, the, the arena itself is being destroyed. It's also really cool that the arena changes throughout the match as destruction is being done to the base itself. Um, there's just all kinds of stuff going on. The tanks are getting shut down by the artillery. Uh, doesn't look like they've been able to get any air uh, helicopters in to help each other out. And it's just constant back and forth. So as we run out of time, we're down to the final 11 seconds. And now your screen will start to turn red or flash red on the outlines basically telling you that you're running out of time and that you're about to go into a standstill. And as we transi transition into sudden death, both bases will reduce in health and whoever takes down the base the fastest will win. Uh, you're automatically losing health as time goes on. And what has, ends up happening here is he does get, in fact, get dominated by the Dominion Army. So that's how to win, guys. Hopefully you're able to get something out of this video. What we're going to do from here is I'm going to go ahead and get into a match of my own. And then we're going to finish up the video, guys. All right. So in order to get minis, you have to win matches. In order to get crates, in order to unlock crates, you have four slots down at the bottom. Uh, and some of those are locked until you actually purchase them but you have one right off the bat. So let's go ahead and get into a match, guys. In order to win, we've already discussed how to win a match. And so right now we are going in on this match and we'll kind of wait it out and see what happens. You got three minutes to complete the match. And I'm starting out with the Republic Army as our resupplies drop on the map. He's gonna send an army out and I'm gonna go ahead and sneak in some artillery or try to get some artillery in there. Um, and I'm gonna send in a bird over here. So in order to gain the advantage you need to have action points as you can see I've already spent a lot of action points here he's trying to rush his players in to take down my artillery and he's unsuccessful because I put the artillery really close to my turret that way the turrets able to get some coverage there so we're gonna go ahead and drop another artillery piece here and he's working with a lot of infantry so he's spending very limited amount of of uh, action points here so at the same time i'm using my art artillery and we do have a air balloon over there is putting some hurt on my one of my turrets over there so i'm going to go ahead and put some uh, air coverage down and i'm going to go ahead and have a little bit of fun with this guy and see what he does so we're going to send in a uh, heavy it's basically a chinook is what it is and the chinook is going to go over top of the base and he's going to start dropping troops ground troops on the map and he's going to try to shoot that down. He might actually be successful. This is a live attack, so there's really no telling what he's going to be capable of doing. And so basically, we have to be play smarter than him and try to counter him in the best possible way. So I'm going to get some artillery down. I'm going to go ahead and put that mini bird on the map and get the bird in there to try to shoot down and shut down his onslaught to get the resupply there. He did send in the hunter there. The hunter will shoot down my mini bird. And we're going to go ahead and put a tank on the map. So we're spending a lot of action points right off the bat. It looks like we're out of action points because a hunter shot down my artillery on that side. And so what's happening is, here is he's focused on getting that resupply. He is going to be successful in getting that resupply. And I will get a little bit of damage on the uh, on his main base. So at the same time, he's working in uh, some of these ground troops to try to get some ground troops in there on my artillery. He also has the hunter back on the map and he's trying to get rid of my artillery is what he's trying to do now. So we're gonna go and send a mini bird in there, even though the mini bird's gonna probably get shut down by the hunter. The hunter is pretty, it's pretty beast mode, I, I'll put it like that. 
and we gotta go ahead and backfill our artillery, and he's able to get in some uh, damage, but my mini bird actually takes a lot of damage off on his uh, main base. So at this point, we're gonna have a battle royale over there, and I'm gonna try to sneak in while he's so focused on trying to get the uh, resupply here, I'm gonna go ahead and set a tank down the center there and try to get rid of his main base. So he's got his balloon uh, air defense there. He's got a couple of um, troops on the map and he does in fact get rid of my tank. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to rush in a mini bird there and try to get rid of <laughs> And this is back and forth, just back and forth. This is constant, nonstop, nonstop. We got eight seconds. Will he be able to stop me? No, the mini bird gets distracted on the ground troops there, and now we're gonna go into sudden death. So, I mean, you can see how back and forth it is. It's just completely uh, insane to watch. Uh, we're gonna try to be slick and get a mini bird in there as quickly as possible. He's gonna probably sling in a hunter and shoot down my mini bird as quickly as, you know, as, quickly as possible. Yeah, see how he sh puts down a couple of ground troops? And we can go ahead and try to rush in a bunch of ground troops here. So, let's do this. Let's put a tank down. And we're gonna send in a bunch of ground troops. They're gonna rush down there and engage his uh, main base, maybe. No, it looks like he's gonna counter it. So, I mean, he's very, very, this is a very skilled player. Um, I mean, he's doing really, really well here. I'm actually really <laughs> enjoying this matchup. Now, if I can actually shoot down and stop the onslaught here, this will be phenomenal. So we put down our Sonic Tank. Our Sonic Tank is doing some damage there. Mini Bird is gonna slink, sneak in there and get in on his main base and is doing damage and we will win. So great stuff there. Um, hopefully you got something out of this video, guys. It is a really, really fun game. Do check it out. It is available globally as of August 31st on both iOS and Android devices. Uh, smash that like button if you enjoyed the video, guys, and thanks for watching.